Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'd like for you to hit that like and subscribe button. We are almost halfway and getting that 1,000 subscribers. So hit that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and log in. So today, I'm going to do an update on the Maxis. The old Maxis 2. People keep asking, is it fixed? Is it better? I did send it to the Browning Repair Shop. It is better. Is it fixed? No. Uh, went hunting in the past, last two videos out in North Carolina. I probably went through a ton of boxes. I, I, probably four boxes of shells. Uh, we had a blast. Did all kind of hunting, all kind of shooting. It jammed one time. And when I... When I say jam, it did the, where it pushes the shell right here, like the slow motion video. So this is the Wicked Wings edition. I took this gun hunting in Real Foot Lake in one of the other, 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 other knit videos. But anyway, go back and watch some videos. But, um... It didn't jam out there, and we shot a bunch of shells through it, too. But a guy that hunts with us, he had a Maxis, too, but it was not the Wicked Wings edition. It was just the uh, old camo pattern. And I looked, and this was different. Not different as in a different part, but a different location. So on my way to the Outer Banks, there's a gun store that has a bunch of Brownings in stock. So I took my Maxis in and compared it to a non-Wicked Wings edition Maxis. I was wondering if, and I'm going to show you in the video, but I was wondering if the Wicked Wings, maybe something was different on the Wicked Wings edition since they do the titanium or nickel, nickel color covered nickel coated there we go versus maybe something that i just thought maybe the parts might be different but the ones in the store look just like mine but they had a maxis one the first generation so i'm gonna post a video now of it so watch it Okay, now you're back. So you see this carrier is moving. You hear it hitting mine? I'm gonna get a closer up video of it hitting the button here. It still does it even when the bolt's closed. Did kind of scare me there. I forgot about the the bolt was open. But Regardless, it hits over here. But if I push, just, I'm talking about just a hair. It doesn't hit. So here is the carrier that they gave me because they replaced it on the Maxis. And I don't. I'm not getting back into. I don't know how many Brownings had two arm system versus one arm. I I don't know all the history, but the Maxis version one and version two, I think, or did the Maxis one? I don't remember. I'm gonna have to watch the video and then, and then comment. But something in here makes this thing move. Obviously, but maybe it's the one, one bar may, making it move. Maybe this point right here is weak. I don't know. I have theories on what I think. But let me change views. All right, so this is middle. And that's middle. So I connected the lines and drew it. Well, obviously, you see it looks like the carrier is going that way and it's hitting 
But look, I'm just going to, when I say I'm just going to move it over a hair, it is a hair. Look, just a little bit. Now, it's not hitting. So, is, when the bolt's cycling, is it hitting this? And this is slowing it down. So, when it goes down, you see it's going to move over a little bit. And I know it's hitting it because there's wear marks on both of them. Is that slowing the reaction down? The speed, the timing, whatever they want to call it. And is that what's making it hit the side here? Or, I don't know. This is what I'm going to do. I have an extra one. You can see right here where the original one, this is the original. You can see where the original was hitting in here. So the bolt's open. It still hits. I took my trigger assembly out. Again, I'm not telling you what to do on your gun. But look at that. Look how much that's hit. Let's see if I can get it in there even better. Now, people's talked about they coming in here and buffing this out. Uh, some people have talked about they have came in here and cut out the fangs, defanging it. But that's not what I'm going to do. But look right there. Look at all that hits, hit marks. So again, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tweak mine just a hair right here and see how it goes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bend mine. I am not telling you to bend your browning. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you I am going to put a little tweak in mine just to see if it works. It don't work. It don't work. Then I'll give you an update on what I think. So, I got a brand new box of shells. Never, they have never been through the gun in that testing. And, you know, when I was testing them, they were crimp the corner. So, what I'm going to do is, just like the other videos, I'm going to take one out of the box, throw it in, see if it jams, chunk it out, keep doing it. I'm going to do a whole box. I'm not, I'm not placing it. I'm not going to just put it in the front. I'm going to throw it in and see what comes out. That one I ain't getting back out because I ain't fighting with it. So we're going with it. And these are two and three quarters because that's what two and three quarters is what this gun does not like. But the other day it jammed on that three inch. change the angle just in case maybe maybe it's a certain height or a certain angle or So far, so good. I'm gonna put it all the way at the back. That was the middle. It's not all the way at the front. It's just back in the middle a little bit. Alright, so, so far, so good. I'm gonna... A couple of times in the past, I could start squeezing the button, pushing the button, and that would what make it jam. So let's let's do it slow. Mm. 
Might be on to something. All right, last one out of the box. It's pretty good. I'm gonna take the box, reload the box, do it a couple more times to see if it does the jam. Oh, uh, but so far, bending this over and it not hitting. All right, so I took, bend it a little bit and I put it back in. Oh, look at that, it's not hitting anymore. Now, how long will it run that way? I don't know. Will it still jam? I don't know that neither. But we're going to find out. So, I did it a couple more times. Didn't jam. So, I'm going to run it for a while and see what comes about. I'm going to shoot some skeet probably tomorrow. I'm going to duck hunting tomorrow. So... I'll keep you posted. So until next time, hit that like and subscribe button. Go watch the other videos from the past adventures we went on last week. So see you later.